Yeah, no, I saw him in the weight room my first day, and uh, for sure, for sure. Um, takes a little time, you know, just to, to realize. It still probably hasn't sucked in all the way until I ca caught the first ball from him. But, but um, yeah, you know, it, that's a legend right there, you know, and that's a Hall of Fame player, and, and we're all blessed to to be able to, um, you know, you know, this is something 20 years from now, 30 years from now, I'll tell my kid, you know, I play with Aaron Rodgers, you know, and, and um, yeah, you know, I, I try not to think about it too much at this point, you know, just because we're, we're going to work and, and, um, and he's my teammate and, and, and that's gotta be the mindset, but, but the reality of it is it's, it's awesome, man. It is awesome to be, you know, having someone like that around the facility and, and, um, you know, I, I just can't wait to, to keep working. You know, after I run every route, it's always like, all right, I got to, I want to be perfect. You know, I want to be perfect. And I've always had that mindset, but now it's, it's all, it's a little, um, it's a, it's another step. You know, I want to be perfect just to, to make sure that I'm giving the body language to my coaches, to my, to my new quarterback that, you know, I'm going to be where I'm supposed to be when I'm supposed to be there and, and they can rely on me. And, um, and that's kind of been my mindset, you know, just knowing that, that, um, that, you know, it's new to him as well. You know, this, we're new players to him and, and we're having our first um, first impression on him. And, 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 you know, what do you want that to be? You know, and as far as football players, you know, it's all about on the field. You know, we we meet in person. But but, uh, you know, if you go out there and ball, you know, all of a sudden I think a little highly higher of you than I did, no matter how we, you know, <laughs> first I met. And that's just kind of how it goes when you're teammates. You know, that's the reality of it. So so, um, you know, keeping that in mind for sure. We know what we have in this room. We know we've known what we've had in this room. And then when you add someone um, like that with the accolades that he has and the ability that he has, you know, it, it's it's. Um, I mean, we we expect to to compete with you know everyone in the league, beat everyone in the league, be one of the better teams in the league. You know, we expect to to do that, and um, you know that's always been the mindset. And and when we didn't follow through on that, we know we've always been upset. But um, you know, I'd be lying if if I said that we had someone. Um, you know, of Aaron Rodgers pedigree and, and the expectation, you know, it doesn't go up a little bit, you know, and, and, um, you know, that's, that's, that's how it is in this, in this industry, you know, so um, we're excited to to have him and we know what comes with it. We know that all of a sudden, you know, eyes are on us and that we gotta, we gotta back it up every time we take the field, you know, practice or game. And, and uh, we're excited to, to prove that every week, you know, what we, what we know we have, we're excited to prove that to the world every week. You know, he's been the best in the league for, for a while now. And, and to even be, uh, you know, mentioned in the same sentence, you know, I'm I'm honored and, and know that, I, you know, I still got a long way to go. Um, I take that with a grain of salt, you know, until he until he's saying, you know, Garrett is the this, you know, I don't I don't know. Uh, the, the, what's it called? Devontae Adams is, is the best receiver in the league. And so for me, it's like. You know, that's that's great, but um, I know where I want to be at and I, I got to keep working. You know, I got to take all that with a grain of salt and know that I got to keep my head down, keep working and and. um you know, continue to prove that, but I, I appreciate the praise from, from A-Rod and, and he knows that, you know, I, the way he slings the ball, I got a lot of, a lot of stuff to say about that too, you know? So, um, no, that's awesome. Uh, what do you have to do to cop a ticket to sit next to him at one of these games? Hey man, I just, I just asked him this morning. I said, I was trying to figure out why I couldn't get no tickets to the, uh, to the Knicks game yesterday. And I was watching the ESPN broadcast. I see him and sauce and, and all it, their, uh, <laughs> their group taking up all the seats, you know? So I got to figure out how I can get in with them and, and uh, bum a seat, you know, bum a seat, bum that fifth seat and see if it can. Because uh, honestly, I don't know, man. I really don't know. You know, I'm a homebody. I don't I don't reach out much. I don't text much. But, you know, I, I would love to uh, to tag along on one of them little, little trips to the city. They've been going on. <laughs> we'll figure it out soon. We'll figure it out.